if I get charged with this, I don't know if I'm guilty. Christopher Halliwell being interviewed last year by police over the murder of a young woman which he denied. Remarkably, he appears to offer them a deal to solve the case. I can resolve the matter, but I don't want you coming back every couple of years. If it goes to court and I'm found guilty, that's it. They're locking me up and throwing away the key. Halliwell had already been locked up in 2012 for a previous killing. Now he is a convicted double murderer. We have waited over five years for this momentous day. It has been an extremely painful journey, but today we've received the justice that has felt like an eternity coming for our beautiful little girl, Becky. In March 2011, Sean O'Callaghan went missing after a night out with friends. Days later, Christopher Halliwell was arrested at a supermarket in Swindon, initially on suspicion of kidnap. After just an hour, he agreed to take police to Sean's body at a field in Oxfordshire. An hour later, Halliwell asked Detective Superintendent Steve Fulcher if he wants another one. He was referring to another body and took them to a field at Eastleach in Gloucestershire and remains he'd buried previously. Police named the woman as Becky Godden, who had been missing for eight years. The next year, Halliwell admitted murdering Sean O'Callaghan and was sentenced to at least 25 years in prison. Sean's suffering led to ending Christopher Halliwell's freedom, making him unable to kill again. The complexities surrounding the cases will continue, but there will never be closure as long as Sean is no longer here. Steve Fulcher, who was leading the case, broke arrest guidelines when Halliwell was detained by refusing his requests for a solicitor and failing to caution him properly. He has since left Wiltshire Police. Today in a statement he said, I caught a serial killer preventing any further girls being murdered. My actions are deemed by the police service to be acts of gross misconduct. When the extraordinary facts of this case are explained, it is likely to lead to a public crisis of confidence in the competence and credibility of the police service. Christopher Halliwell today laughed and smiled when the jury returned their verdict. The killer, who lived with such dark secrets for such a long time, faces the possibility of a whole life term in prison.